Too Many Mice. That's the game we're going to learn today. It's a game that will help your students learn how to carry. Carry, as in 15 plus 17, you've got too many units, so you have to carry some to the tens position. This is the first game in a series that is going to cement the, the idea of carrying. In this game, we're actually not going to carry. We're actually going to obliterate tens. So this is the first game. We want something very, very simple. So here's how it plays. We have six cards. They are ordered from one to six. We're going to put those face up. We have two players. I'm going to play the boy is going to play with my right hand and the girl is going to play with my left hand. The boy gets to start. He's going to choose the top card, then the girl's going to choose the top card, then the boy's going to choose the top card and so on. So the boy's going to end up with all of the even cards and the girl's going to end up with all of the odd cards. Whenever a child takes a card, they can keep it or they can give it to their, their opponent. And they take that, that number of mice. So the boy gets to go first, he takes uh, six and he says, okay, I'm gonna, am I going to give that to the girl or am I, I going to take six mice? I'm going to take six mice for myself. I'm going to be greedy. So, card is set aside, the boy grabs six mice and then it's the girl's turn. The object of the game is to end up with the most mice. Now you might think, well, then it's obvious. You just take every card that you're offered. But if you ever end up with 10 mice or more, the cat comes by and eats 10 of your mice. So uh, the girl's turn, the girl, well, she might decide to give the five mice to the, to the boy and then a cat would come by and eat, eat some of them. But no, she's going to be greedy too. She's going to take her five mice. Now it's the boy's turn. The boy, uh, if he takes those four mice, well then that's going to be six plus four. That's going to be equal to ten. The cat will come by, eat all of his mice. So he doesn't want that. He has to have the most mice at the end of the game. So the boy is going to give that to the girl. The girl gets four mice. So the girl's got nine now. The boy's only got six. So the girl is winning. Now, the girl is going to say, okay, I'm going to give three mice to the boy. They now each have nine. What's going to happen now? Well, the boy gets to give two mice or to take two. Well, he's going to give two. So that makes 11 mice that the girl has. The cat comes by and eats 10 of them. Oh, tragedy for the girl. She's only got one measly mouse left. It looks like the girl's going to lose this game, except she's got one mouse left and she's going to give it to the boy. And that makes 10 for the boy. The boy loses all his mice. It's the end of the game. It's one mouse for the girl, no mouse, no mice at all for the boy. The girl wins. Why is too many mice going to work in your classroom? It's going to work because it addresses the full spectrum of student ability. You're going to have kids that are fantastic that already know how to carry before you even raise the topic. You don't want to bore them. So you need to have something engaging like this game that's not easy for those top students to figure out, to play well. Simultaneously, you have to have a game that's simple enough that the bottom students are going to be able to use it to concentrate on how to learn carrying. This game does both. It addresses the full spectrum of student ability. That's what Math Pickle is all about. Just as I was finishing this video, I got a knock on my door. It was a guy called Bernie Howgate from the east coast of Canada. And he was a pretty flamboyant character, going door to door selling his book. I said I'd buy a copy if he would sit down and play the first game ever of Too Many Mice. Uh, Bernie, the way this game works is that I'm going to be the first person to go. The cards here are one through six. And 
Whenever I take the top card, I get to either choose six mice or I get to give six mice to you. All right. And then it's your turn and you're going to be picking up the five card. And you can either choose to keep the five mice or give the five mice to me. All right. And the nasty cat comes by whenever one of us has got ten or more mice. And the nasty cat will eat ten mice. Fine. And the winner is the person with the most mice at the end of the game. All right. Okay? So, I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to be greedy. I'm going to take the six mice for myself. Now, we'll see if Bernie is greedy, if he wants to keep the five mice for himself, or if he wants to give me the five mice. Let's see what kind of person he is. I'm greedy. He's greedy. So he's going to take five mice for himself. Okay. And now it's my turn. I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to take the four mice. Now this looks like a bad move, because now I've got ten mice, and I... the cat comes by and eats them all. But we'll see what happens. So go ahead. I've played this before. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. I'm on three. Bernie's actually the first person to play this game, so... I am is... taking the three. I'm staying greedy. Okay. And I'm going to give Bernie another two. Ah. And that makes his total... I told you, we'd played this before. That makes his total 10. So, so the cat comes by and eats all of Bernie's mice. Now, it's Bernie's turn, and now, he's just got all right. a single mouse. I'm, is it the end of this game where uh, it's the one with the most... That's right. Oh, I'll check it again. I'm greedy. So, Bernie wins this game. So, <laughs> there's, there's a sample game. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much, Bernie. That was a great visit uh, right oh, on my doorstep. Oh, <laughs> Cheers, everyone. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Great. I, I have no idea who we'll use that, but we might use part of it.